Welcome to another episode of the State of Real Estate. First and foremost, Happy New Year. Recapping 2020 was absolutely surreal. If you've made it this far, you are probably, like myself, a COVID survivor. We mourn for all those lost. Get tested for the antibodies. And if you have them, you're going to be able to say to save lives. I just donated convalescent plasma at One Blood, made an appointment online, and even got a $50 gift card plus a $20 free appetizer at Carabas or Carabas, plus a beautiful t-shirt. Okay, so let's get down to business. Today's episode is about the future, a forecast of the 2021-2022 real estate market. The future. I said it here months ago when the pandemic started. And to be honest, nothing has really changed. It is actually, it, it has simply exacerbated. Number one, limited supply or inventory of available homes for sale. Number two, high demand triggered by very low interest rates and a booming stock market. Many people ready to cash out and make their move into the real estate market. Number three, home prices skyrocketing. The perfect conditions for a seller's market. And what lays ahead in 2021-2022 as per 20 economic housing experts at the National Association of Real Estate's Forecast Summit. Number one, the economy, that is the GDP, will grow 3.5% in 2021, 6.2% in 2022. Number two, home prices will climb 8%. 5.5% in 2022. Number three, average 30-year fixed mortgage rates will average 3% in 2021 and 325 in 2022. Number four, annual unemployment rates in 2021 at 6.2, declining to 5% in 2022. Number five, home prices. The annual medium will increase 8% in 2021 and 5.5% in 2022. Number six, housing starts 1.50 million next year and 1.59 million in 2022. That's new homes. Number seven, working from home. The share of the, U work, of the U.S. workforce working from home will be 18% in 2021, down from 21% in 2020 and 12% in 2022. Number eight, vacancy rates. Small declines in office and hotel vacancy rates and a slight increase in retail vacancies. In conclusion, for 2020, the real estate market boomed. In a new economy with flexible work from home schedules, it just made more sense to stay at home. In 2020, home sales will reach 5.52 million, the highest annual mark since 2006, which was the last seller's market. With the medium home price setting a record high at $293,000, according to the National Association of Realtors, also known as NAR. Bottom line, if you are a homeowner, wouldn't you like to know how much equity you have on your house? Maybe you're sitting on a ton of cash and you don't know it. Contact me for a free valuation report that far exceeds the infamous, the infamous sestiment that Zillow gives you. So, with this juicy information, I say greetings to you from the sunny state of Florida. This is Edwin Marchand, real estate broker, helping families find the home of their dreams. Goodbye.